Emily Allen is set to run the length of the Bruce Trail to raise funds and awareness for cystic fibrosis. We caught up with her days before leaving on her 895 kilometer run from Tobamori to Queenston. I think Dan came up with the idea maybe a year or two ago actually because we had just bought the, the Bruce Trail guidebook um, and, he, and he'd said, would you ever want to run the Bruce Trail? Oh, that could be a, a good idea. Um, and then would you want to do it for CF? Oh, yeah. And then since that time we've had things going on and so I think it was at some point last summer we said, why don't, why don't we do this next year? This seems like a good year. Um, and then, yeah, verbalizing it uh, to each other is one thing, but then putting it out there to our friends and family. I told our, our, our family and our close friends initially, um, and they all just said, whoa, <laughs> that's crazy, but it's great. But then once we got a logo made and put it out to the world, um, that was when you have to kind of take a step back and take a deep breath and say, this is really happening now. When people hear about the end-to-end -end CF run, they usually have two questions. The first, are you crazy? And the second is, why are you doing this? And the answer is simple. So I'm what was the driving force behind this idea? Ultimately, it right comes back to my cousin, fibrosis. Sarah, who I'm passed away from cystic Sarah's fibrosis Marie in 2005, um, and always wanting to, feeling the need to do something for her, or something in her memory. Um, and so we've done multiple things over the years, cycling across the Rockies twice, cycling the perimeter of PEI, um, and, and now this. What's the training been like leading up to this? Um, lots of running, obviously, uh, and just trying to be in the trails as much as possible. Before she's taken her first step, Emily has almost already reached her fundraising goal, and she couldn't be more pleased. People are reaching out from all across Canada. Uh, a number of the students, it was it was put on the on the Brock News site. So I work here at Brock University, um, and so a number of my former students are reaching out, saying, "Emily, I saw the story on the Brock Facebook page," and so they are reaching out. Some of them are donating. Some of them come and tell stories of having a family friend or somebody they grew up with that has cystic fibrosis, and so it's it's just incredible. And and having people reach out and parents of cystic fibrosis, kids with cystic fibrosis, reaching out and just saying thank you for what you're doing. Um, it's, it's incredible and our fundraising is through the roof. Um, so I, I, I couldn't be happier. I feel overwhelmed by the amount of support. After running alone for the better part of a month, Emily is expecting friends, family and members of the community to join her on the last leg of her journey. So on the last day, July 1st, um, if you go onto our website, everybody can join in that last leg, which is seven kilometers from Fireman's Park to Queenston Heights. So walk, run, whatever mode of transport you need to get you to the end, feel free to come on out. Um, we'll also be at the end at the Cairn in Queenston Heights in the park. Um, on July 1st, we'll kind of have a hurrah there. Um, and then if people want to donate or join the run, uh, if they go to our website, which is www.endtoendcf.ca, so E-N-D-T-O-E-N-D-C-F.ca, um, you can see the route, you can follow along. There's also a spot to donate on that page. Um, and then just paying attention to social media, we'll be updating as much as we can. Emily will run nearly a full marathon each day while aiming to raise $15 per kilometer for Cystic Fibrosis Canada. For more information on Emily's journey or how you can donate, please visit her website. Reporting for The Source, I'm Greg Lavelle.